In this problem, we have to do a simple proof. We have to prove that this function is one to one. Another word for one to one is injective. So over here, let me briefly write what it means for a function to be one to one. So f from say uh, a to b is one to one if, so whenever the outputs are the same, the inputs also have to be the same. So basically if, whenever you have f of a equal to f of b, so the equal outputs, you have equal inputs, and a is equal to b. So that's the definition of one to one. So when we do this problem, we'll start by assuming f of a is equal to f of b, and then we'll just show a is equal to b. Um, so this is our big A, and this is our big B in this problem. So proof. So we'll start by supposing that f of a is equal to f of b. So suppose, I'll just abbreviate suppose, suppose f of a is equal to f of b. For some a, b in, in capital A, so for some a, b in, in, in this set here, so negative, negative to infinity. Okay. I don't know if you can see that over there, but just for some a, b in, in this set. Then you just write down what f of a is. So f of x is the square root of x plus 2. So in this case, you just replace x with a. So then f of a is the square root of a plus 2. Pretty easy. And then f of b is the square root of b plus 2, so the square root of b plus 2. And again, we just have to show that a is equal to b. So to get rid of the square roots, we'll square both sides. So when we do that, uh, we get a plus 2 equals b plus 2, right? Because we can square both sides, right? You would do this. Then you subtract 2 from both sides. So a is equal to b. So we start by assuming f of a is equal to f of b, and then we show a is equal to b. That satisfies the definition of what it means for a function to be one-to-one. -one. So thus, f is one-to-one. -one. That's it.